Chris. This is Solo Supreme, and welcome back to Manifest Destiny in Victoria 2 with the Historical Project mod. And welcome to the beginning of the American Civil War slash Spanish American War. Uh, where we last left off, Confederate States of America broke off within us, and... Ironically, they helped us attack the Spanish first before deciding to attack Fort Sumter. And we are now embroiled in a, essentially a massive war where we are against the CSA, Spain, Portugal, and the Netherlands. Right now, we have forces scattered all throughout the continental United States. And we are about to commence an invasion to end this Confederate uprising. Once and for all, once we are done with the Confederacy and unify the United States, uh, we shall handle the Spanish. Now, we have an objective down here, which is to take over the northern part of the Philippines. Right now, we previously launched a short little invasion, which failed utterly due to lack of artillery support from this army in particular. And as you can see, they are suffering a lot. They basically our infantry <laughs> brigade is empty right now. There's no soldiers on it whatsoever. Their mission is to get dropped off up here in the Congo, pick up some of these other infantry units and recover. And we're going to send them back to the Philippines. Right now, I have another more rounded out and capable force, which shall be able to deal with the Spanish more effectively and we will be able to conquer the northern part of the Philippines, get that ticket war score, and hopefully walk away with both Cuba and North uh, Philippines. I am not even gonna begin to pronounce that. Right now, Cuba is under our complete control as of this moment. The Netherlands, as you can see, these bastards have been Right now, I'm just pissed because they're now able to invade the west coast of the United States with pretty much pure impunity uh, as our forces are mainly concentrated in the eastern um, portion of the United States and are sailing around. But right now, we have the immediate situation of dealing with the Confederacy. So without further ado, let me pause the game and let us commit this war. We have to preserve the Union at all costs. Greece defaults. Let's see. We are just going to do this because I do not care about what Greece's economic woes are right now. We have to preserve the United States. Ah. Right now, once we get rid of like these Confederate units up here, they're pretty much going to be uh, left to our mercy. And that's what I want. Let's see. Finish this battle up, man. Good work. Head up to Evansville, and then you can begin sieging. All right. We finish this battle up here. Where are they retreating to? They are going to Albany. You, sir. Head over there. And actually, you can head right through there. What you're going to do, head straight to Richmond, and I am going to need you, good sir, to head to Fredericksburg. I want to wrap this war nice and tight. You guys, you have a mission. Head over to the West Coast and basically, I want you guys to pummel those goddamn Dutch. Those bastards. Let me, I'm just going to pretend. Let's just say my U.S. government right now is currently in a state of panic. And we, just to say, we curiously gave our officers the right to publicly execute any Dutch prisoners of war. Hey, I'm not saying anything, and as far as I know, it's not happening. See no evil here. Like, speak no evil, get it? No, one, no one's going to know any war crimes occurred. Where's our naval force? Uh, these boys are down here. Hurry up, men. Get to the Philippines as quickly as possible. And where are these guys at? Ah, about to drop off. Great. 
We shall handle this war with pride, dignity, and with the grace of God, damn you. Because God is on our side. Yes. Uh, you're heading all the way to the west coast. Head to Scranton. I mainly just want to get rid of most of these uh, little confederate bites. And let me see. I'm pretty sure we have to do that. 100% war score, right? Yep. Because we got to do that. Unite the nation. Cast his belly. Hey, this is going to be disgusting. This is going to be long. But we have to do this. We must do this. The dignity of the United States is at, well, stakes. Let's see. Let me go back over here real quick. Uh, they should be there shortly. I'm going to be bouncing back between Asia and the U.S. constantly right now. And then head to Louisville, Kentucky. Alright, so it looks like the Danes or the Danish are going to be suffering from attrition over there. Good. And I really don't have enough to blockade them and we're losing money because due to the Confederacy break it off of us. We lost some of our naval ports. There. At least the other force did manage to punish the Spanish down here. Let's drop you guys off on the top and let's make a slow organized movement down south. You guys just recover right here. Merge up with them. And you can pick these guys up. Alright, let's just... I want this war to be as swift and painless as possible. You hit the DC, gather up. Hmm. So currently, our situation isn't as bleak as it seems. It's just a whole lot of garbage we're gonna have to go through. We're gonna have to deal with like these Confederates and also we're gonna have to like deal with Like, look at these assholes. They're like, huh, oh, we're the Netherlands, we're, we're Dutch. We are going around across the city, robbing everything, pillaging, murdering, rape. This is an outrage. You guys can park over down here. All right, Chester Phelps. You are America's golden child right now. We need you to handle those Spanish in the Philippines. Destroy them. You have my full blessing to go a complete and utter total war methods on them. Remember, for the glory of the United States, we need these war goals. And if we have to punish them, we shall punish like the Dutch, the Spanish, and the uh, Portuguese. Ah, I see. Confederates have lined up a substantial defense. Interesting. Let's handle them. All right, you guys will be able to retreat in about a week. All right, you guys loop up here and go back down, crush them. And you guys head out of here. There's no got a four attack. Me not like you that. You guys hook up with them. You guys keep traveling to the west coast. Once you defeat these Dutch, they'll pretty much end uh, their invasion of us. And then we'll be clean of like pretty much any Spanish or Dutch influence. Hello, Ottomans. You're at war? Ah, yes, they are. And they pretty much are finished. American Civil War is going well right now. The acquisition of Manila is almost done. Right. We outnumber them. We have artillery and we have cavalry. Remember, Chester, do not screw this up or you will be censured and possibly court-martialed on your way back. <laughs> this is the United States, damn you. 
Huh. I'm so grateful that I did do that preemptive mobilization because this would have been an even bigger mess than originally intended. All right. All right, Chester. Finish these guys off. And you shall be proudly rewarded, good sir. Fail me, and may God have mercy on your soul. Alright, head over here to Indianapolis. We just need to break these major Confederate uh, troop buildups. Alright, guys are done. And let's see how this battle. Yep. Good work, Chester. Exterminate them. Wipe them out. Destroy them. Yep. Good work, Chester. You did your country proud. You wiped out all the Spanish. Now, you guys. Right, it looks like you guys have recovered quite a bit. Uh, hop you guys on the transport fleet. You guys have a special mission. You're going to be dropped off in Florida. And your mission is to help preserve the United States by any means necessary. Hey, these bastards coming. They're going to Vegas. Cut them off. All right. And Battle of Indianapolis, good. We succeeded over there. Head up there. I'd rather read you guys deal with them while they're weak. Y'all stack wipe these guys for me, please, because this. General Thomas Jackson. Oh God, it's Thomas Jackson. Kill him, <laughs> please. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, it is. Robert E. Lee. Ah, oh, there he is. Yeah, Robert E. Lee is invading Dallas with six thousand troops. <laughs> no, no, no! Don't let them get away. I know they have artillery. Overwhelm them with your numbers. And they have a two defense. Oh, right. Overwhelm them. No, they, they are definitely going to lose that battle. So be it. All right. You guys are ready to go. Let's drop you guys off in Houston. Y'all can deal with Mr. Lee. And the operation in the Philippines is right now gonna be a success. Great, all right, so let me see. I am going to do hot blast right now. Get that out of the way, well actually, 1971. Ah, wait, wait, analytic philosophy, need that one first. Let's get this one out of the way, and then the other researchers will just like, be like real simple to get. All right, you guys can just start invading right now. Uh oh, Congress of Berlin keep the empire strong. The great powers of Europe joined together in Berlin to negotiate the future of the Balkans. While there was much contention, ultimately it was decided that the Ottoman Empire needed to be kept strong and any demands placed on it should not weaken its interests unduly. Few of the attendees were pleased, the Russians in particular, and even though the Congress favored the Ottomans, it remains to be seen whether they will bow to European pressure and uphold the Congress's edict. Ooh. A little bit of wackiness going on over there. What? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Wait, Russia is on our side. I forgot I invited Russia in for some reason. 
Uh, even though they, they're not gonna do anything. I mean, if they could invade Spain, they would. And currently, I'm pretty sure because of that, we'll do that. But we should get the ticking war scores, and as long as we got those, like, pretty much, we should be good. Uh, I guess still going up there. I'm gonna merge you guys up. You guys is capture most of the Confederacy. Alright, I need this full on professional RB to make their way back to Houston as quickly as possible. And re Yeah, you guys are just gonna have to suffer this bloody invasion. Seven war score for that shit. Even though it was this mobilized infantry. Oh well, the Dutch are bleeding out. And that's all I want is for them to bleed out. Oh, they will accept the white piece from me, of course. All right, so. That's it for this war goal. Wait, acquired Cuba fulfilled at 80%. What? See this? Uh, as far as I can tell, Cuba is fully occupied. Ugh, Lord. The Dutch are invading Mexico. You bastards. Oh, that's probably why you guys got caught up. We're fighting a naval engagement. Hurry up. I need you guys to get down there quickly. Dutch are at their wits end. Oh, just get the consciousness. Can't deal with any more militancy right now. Let's do that. Get more liberals here. Right, head up here and wipe those little bugs out. Where are you guys at? Oh, here you are. Hurry up and get over here. Let's give Russia military access. Oh, wait. Did I say they only have four boats? Go oh, five now. Oh, great. Fantastic. See, this is a pretty screwed up situation. I could, in fact, go for the Netherlands. If I get the Netherlands out of this war, indeed, that's what I shall do. You! It's uh. I'm gonna need you to head down here. You guys get down there, and then we'll be able to. I gotta get rid of these units. I'll be able to like at least get some of these units hopefully down off the Dutch coast. Spain has no navy. Portugal barely has a navy. Uh, hopefully we will be fine. Get these guys over here. Hey, I just realized we're 90% literate. <laughs> Probably because all the southern states just broke off. We can get these guys. Um, uh, invasion of the Netherlands is actually feasible and whoa my got Bulgaria Bosnia down here and what is oh, oh yeah I forgot that hoot nanny uh, let's see okay so they still need to get Baden and Wurttemberg they already got Bavaria under their control so once those two countries come under German occupation 
it will be a Kawinki thing. So right now, Mr. William Benton, I need someone who can attack. You are good, but I hate how you got less morale. Uh, you, Augustus Taylor. Hurry up, get an extra recovery ticket. I want you to head down here. I need you to help like finish this uh, Dutch incursion. All right, you guys are here. Kill these guys and take over Dallas. Let's do that for the bonus prestige. And we have an election this year. All right, so I don't think invading these guys is gonna really, like, especially down here. We already got the war goal. All right, you guys are gonna be doing the first ever naval invasion on Western Europe. Chester, you didn't fail me in the Philippines. For the love of God, don't fail me now. Hit up here. Your objective is to take Amsterdam. And Mr. Phillips, or Mr. Phillips, may God help have mercy on your soul. The source of Nile has been discovered. Yes, more prestige. Love that. All right, you guys hurry up here, then head back down to Nashville. All right, you have a three attack, but will that be enough? I know you're gonna get a negative two because they're gonna be attacking in the mountains, but if we destroyed these guys. All right, Robert E. Lee is dead. Looks like he's not gonna be signing shit in Appomattox. All right, Mr. Augustus, please, for the American people, chase down and finish off these Dutch. All right, looks like I'm, everything is coming under control again. Oh, God. Robert E. Lee, they reassigned him command. Uh, but their morale is low. That's what we have going for us. Yeah. All right. Ah, I forgot, they don't have a detached siege machine. I'm so used to that. All right. Ah. Get up there and we link up with Mo. All right, you head down here, Isaac. You're gonna cut into Louisiana. This is just all the waiting game. Oh, here we go. The North Germans Austrian Brothers War has commenced. All right. Where's our Navy at? Just off the coast of India. Hurry, Adam Wilson. Lead our men with great speed. The Dutch shall know pain. We get the Dutch out that I could possibly pull off, possibly an invasion of Spain. Just something northern, but it's gonna be dangerous as all hell with all the Portuguese and Spanish troops over there. All right, Mr. Taylor. Attack the Dutch. You gotta hit the Pikesville, finish off in there, Knoxville. All right. All right. Looks like the Mexicans. I can't tell what's going on. All right. I can't tell if the Mexicans won the battle or lost it. I'm judging that they possibly lost it. But luckily our South American allies have their back. And what in, oh, okay, I thought. <laughs> that would have been so bad if they were being invaded, uh, if Russia was being invaded by the North Germans. All right, Mexico is even helping us out over here. All right, you guys are about to make it through Suez. That's what I like to see. All right, invade. And for the love of God, we are outlawing slavery. The Emancipation Proclamation has been passed. Essentially, even though... <laughs> oh, we to get this one, we have to... At least 40% of their provinces has to be occupied. Okay. That's doable. 
and let's see. I still want to try to see if we could get this annexation of the Dominican Republic underway. All these different reforms. Hmm. I'm going to keep this video going for five minutes longer because right now we are succeeding on the American front. It looks like the Dutch are going to feel some pain at least. All we have over here is just their numbers. It looks like their infantry troops are being overwhelmed, but they still have that damned artillery support. All right. Let's see, did you guys make it through the Mediterranean yet? Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Italy has basically fallen to rebels. And then now there is a war between the Ottomans and Romania against Hungary. Keep going, Mr. Wilson. You're doing God's work right now. France? All right, they still gave us military access. Hit down here. All right, seems that the Confederacy's resistance has effectively been destroyed. Now, Mr. Isaac, I need you to destroy this other resistance down here. Augustus Taylor has failed us, but he did manage to whittle down the enemy, which I am proud of him for. Why are, this is so ridiculous how we're getting such, I guess it's cause like we have a higher military power, but still that's ridiculous how we get such high negative war score from these battles. I mean, here's the Dutch Navy. And we got the bonus to attack. Come on. How are you rolling a zero? All right, we'll get back to that shortly. Guys, hit down here. All right, the Dutch down there are fully exposed and they'll be basically able to be destroyed. All right, looks like the coast of Holland is now clear for us. Drop the guys off in Amsterdam. Then I'm gonna have you guys hide out in the French port. Yeah, we lost the ship due to the like, high attrition and like the high damage they suffered. Come on, drop these guys off. All right, you guys go rest down in Dunkirk. All right, that's contained. Ugh. Hit to Augusta, keep moving. All right, thank you, France. You have my eternal gratitude. Finish them off here. They're in the Mojave Desert. All right, we're gonna box them in. Right. They're gonna be trapped here. That's exactly what I want. Take Amsterdam, Mr. Phelps. America's counting on you. to Los Angeles see that I'll cut them off okay and with this that's essentially it for the Confederacy and Amsterdam is about to fall into our hands this great war or this proto great war down here it's being like it's just a vast undertaking 
right and this you guys should be conquered now all right go keep going mr phelps capture the rest of these dutch territories and you guys just keep moving ah, sneaky bastards hit the mojave all right finish them reclaim san francisco Let's do the Emancipation Proclamation. Get that bonus prestige and point. Really can't do the Anaconda plan right now. Control. Ooh, I actually don't want to do that because we're going to be using those pops soon anyway. All right, and. Democrats have already control of the house. And the Panama Canal has been finished. All right. Things are looking up for the old red, white, and blue. The French are being kind to us, helping us patch up our boats. And I believe now is a good time to wrap this video up. So. Luckily, this undertaking is about to be finished. The Confederacy is virtually beaten. Uh, <laughs> Germany is about to form soon, possibly. And then hopefully the Spanish, once we invade, um, well, finish the invasion of the Dutch, we can then probably drop some troops off in the Spain. Hopefully. We have this war essentially in the bag though the spanish american war is right now is gonna it's just a mess we'll cross that bridge when we get there so i hope you guys enjoy the video leave a like comment and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more and if you would like to keep close watch on this series hit that bell notification so anytime i you get i get a new upload out you guys will be able to like <laughs> catch it so with that said i hope to see you guys again soon this is solo supreme and have a great day folks now this one is pure niceness.